So, today, as uh, you'd seen in one of my previous videos, we kind of get, are getting excited for spring and uh, trying to fix things up, get the garden ready, and get ready for spring and planting. So today I wanted to talk about what are we excited to grow. So I got my own selection. I asked the kids what they're... There's kid number one. Kid number two. Asked them both what are they excited to grow. So they picked out their own things. So I want to just... Uh, briefly talk about that and show some of the cool stuff that with that and uh, show you just some things like I've said we're not the greatest gardeners but I'm excited to grow I'm excited to try I really love getting them involved in it because it gets them to hopefully try eating more of the stuff that kids typically don't like and gets them outside I mean it's okay you went in the mud I just love knowing that they're outside playing and it is hard to get them out here and do it because trying to work and, you know, kids being kids, it's hard. But, so I just want to do a quick video showing what we're excited for. And it, we're getting spring fever. We don't have it as bad as the people up north with being stuck inside. But we have been getting hammered with rain. And Georgia also is very weird with the winter. We'll get like 70 degrees and we'll get like a frost come through. So it makes it a little bit harder to plant because we get really excited. We're like, yes, spring is here. It's 70 degrees. And then, you know, it'll be like 30. So we got to be careful when we plant. So we're still waiting. Uh, we probably could start plants indoors and do all that. But we're a little bit behind on the ball on that. Got other projects going. But So I'm going to tell you our top five. We're going to go into the greenhouse because it is actually sprinkling right now. But I wanted to be outside for a little bit of this. I want to show something from the our fall garden. And we actually did terrible at watering this, so it's pretty awesome that it's actually doing it. Now, mind you, there is a gaping hole in here. We gotta fix this up, but that is kale I planted, and it is doing great. Need to pick some of that and feed it to Thor. So, I just wanted to show that real quick. You want to see if Emma wants one? Five and three eating kale. What do you guys think of it? Good. You think Thor will like it? Yes. All right. All right, Emma. What is something you... Show me the first one you're excited to grow if it's not too loud. Go for it. Show me. Yeah. Pink flowers. Why are you really excited to grow these flowers? Because yeah. they're pink. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, May. All right, next one, Emma. It's a rose no, buckwheat. No. Might have been a bad idea to do it outside. Why do you want to grow this? Because oh, it's, it's pink. See a theme with hers? Alright. Why do you want to grow those? Because they're orange. What are these? Pumpkins. pumpkins. What do you want to do with the pumpkins? Uh, grow them. Grow them? Do you want to carve them? Yeah. Okay. What are those? Peppers. Peppers. All right. Why do you want to grow those? Because because they're orange. Are they yummy? Yeah. Okay. She loves eating bell peppers with me. All right. And your last pick. What is that? Watermelon. Watermelon. Why do you want to grow watermelon, baby? Because Because they're red. Yeah. Is watermelon yummy? All right, thank you, Emma. I'm gonna get Mason now, okay? What color will that watermelon be? Orange. That's orange, yeah. I love orange yeah. So yeah, you love orange a lot. It is pumpkin. Yeah, why do you want to grow those pumpkins? What do you want to do with them? I carve them. You want to carve them? Yeah. Okay. Because you love eating purple carrots? Turn that one up. Turn it. Nope. There you go. Black carrots. They'll be so yummy. Yep. Do you really like growing carrots? Yep. Okay. 
Do you like eating them? Are they yummy? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I love eating orange carrots. You love eating orange carrots? Yeah. All right. This is the first. Do you like um, eating stuff out of our garden? All right, so you're gonna see a theme real quick in our uh, our selections here, and uh, it's very fitting because uh, I don't know if you guys remember last year, Kinfolk Farm loved he. I think he only chose all watermelon, but so I also chose a watermelon. It's the Orangelo watermelon, and I'm really excited to grow it for the fact that it's supposed to be really cool, it's supposed to be really good tasting, and it's supposed to be easy to grow. I love easy to grow things, um, so. That's one of the ones I'm excited to grow. Oh yeah, and Mason lost the tooth. So it happened last night. All right. So now my next one is this uh, squash, Robin's Crocker Knock squash. Not the greatest at enunciating things. I want to try that. I'm excited for that one for the fact it's supposed to be pretty good flavor-wise, and. Uh, so that'll be fun. These kind of go together. The first one is the sugar brush peach pepper, and then the peach habanado or habanero. So yeah, this is habanero. I think these would be fun. To, I grew this one last year. I was really happy with it. This one I didn't grow. I'll be really excited to see how they turn out. That'll be too hot for you, baby. Oh yeah, I'll show you one second. So I was really excited for those. I think they'd make great jellies and like salsas and stuff. So I thought that'd be fun to do. Another one, we did grow this in, uh, in my previous video. I talked about this and I'm really excited to grow it. They did pretty well for us. I think I got them late started or they started late, but is the jelly melon, the jelly cucumber. And look, so I was right. And my gardener did change his seed packets up. Let's see if I can do this, boom pretty cool I like the new look of the seed packets um, and the last one I'm gonna have to throw it up on the screen is this is also from row seven seeds this is uh, one I didn't get to show in the seed openings is potatoes I have yet to grow potatoes I have one way I want to for sure try growing them and his potatoes just look really good I love cooking with potatoes especially for breakfast I use baking grease for it I, know, I love it. I don't know if my family gets worn out on it, but I absolutely love it. So I want to try growing them myself because I think it'd be awesome. So just wanted to leave or tell you all about that. Let you guys kind of know what we might, ha what we should have in store. All right, guys. So the reason I actually got to do this video, or I am doing it now, I had debated on doing one and I postponed it. There's actually a seed collaboration video or a YouTube collaboration video that uh, Zero to Homestead actually had started up this year. And I was tagged by Citystead, our friend Josh over at Citystead. And so I appreciate the tag, Josh, because as you know, I mean, it's not, there's not a lot going on in winter, especially for us. Even in the South, yes, we can, we got the jump on y'all and growing a little bit. We don't have the snow you guys do, but we still have fun stuff with temperatures. But, so with that, uh, it being a collaboration and it's an open collaboration, there's a few channels I'd like to tag and the first one is our friends over at Arrow Ridge. They do really good at gardening, or at least I think they do. And uh, I wanna see what they're excited to grow. They have a great channel. So if you're not a, a subscriber to theirs yet, I'm gonna leave links down below, find them. And uh, they're really awesome. Great channel. So definitely recommend checking them out. And I wanna see what you guys are excited to grow this year. So definitely make it. The second channel I'd like to tag is a Georgia channel, really great guy, um, not that big on YouTube yet, but I've been following him on Facebook and Instagram and does a lot of really cool stuff and a uh, very good family guy. Their channel is Three Pines Farm and Forge. I'll leave links to them too, a Georgia channel. He does really good at gardening. I've always been impressed with him. I want to say he started doing all this a couple of years ago or something but really nice guy I know he's got great content and great advice so definitely check him out
give him the encouragement, and I want to see what he's going to grow this year because I've watched him on um, the other social medias, and he does a really good job at it, so I'm always impressed by his. The third channel I'd like to tag is Soil Mates of Georgia. They are also a uh, urban homesteader or urban uh, gardener, like Citystead, the one that tagged me. So, and but they are in Atlanta since they're in Georgia, and they do really good at gardening. They also plant bushes for berry bushes and fruit trees and stuff like that. And they have two farms that they actually work on. So they have the urban one and then the rural one. So give them a check out, and I'll leave links to them also down below. And I want to see what you guys are going to grow this year or what you're excited to grow this year, whether it's fruit or uh, garden stuff. So, yeah, definitely want to see that. I want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for hanging in there with us. We'll be planting soonish. We got some exciting stuff coming up. Uh, we'll be getting pigs eventually. We got more animals coming. We're going to be getting back into meat production again. So, stay with us. Gardening, we're not the greatest at gardening. I enjoy doing it. I want to get better at it, but it's not our uh, thing. We're not the best at it. So just want to say, hang in there. I got to get to these kids. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys. I think there's point in mud, but we'll see. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys on the next video. Y'all have a great day. Food. Food for you. Eat it. Why am I going to eat it? He might be full. He might be scared.